Someone I know passed away a few years ago when I was too young to even be aware of his late conditions. As far as I'm concerned, he wasn't hospitalized and had no signs immediately before it happened. When I asked my parents, they told me he died due to alcoholism. The direct cause of death was alcohol consumption. Ever since, this so-called mystery has been lingering in my mind. How can someone die directly due to alcohol? Today, I found out the truth and you're not going to believe it. Alcohol does a lot of things. Slurred speeches, imbalanced movement, mood swings, hangovers and etc. All of these are very much well known. But we don't give a damn about these effects. What we care about are the ones that happen to your body after you drink, which you have no clue about. And after that, we are going to dissect the case and find out the actual truth about what happened to this person I told you about. Stomachs do not digest alcohol. Our stomachs are made to digest specific macromolecules like protein. Alcohol falls into none of these categories, so it goes directly into the bloodstream. Some of them through your stomach and the rest through the small intestine. Alcohol is technically a weak acid, which means it's still corrosive though mild. Through the blood vessels, it goes directly to everywhere blood and oxygen go like heart, liver, brain, and so on. Drinking alcohol is similar to injecting a mild acid into your blood vessels, which if applied, would be best considered an intense form of torture. Livers get used to it, and that is not a good thing. Since alcohol is not a substance similar to the ones known to human bodies, it considers it to be a toxic substance. This means, from your biological sense, eating a sediment of toxic waste and alcohol are definitely the same things, except the level of toxicity is different. When you first start drinking, you get drunk faster and your liver gets used to it. The next time, you will have to drink more than the first time to get yourself drunk because the liver has got used to detoxifying the previous amount of alcohol. It's like you're directly training your liver to work better at detoxification of alcohol. It may sound like something to be proud of, but wait till you hear the full story. Alcohol messes with human senses. Alcohol kills brain cells. It's totally a myth. Yet, the damage it causes to the human brain is undeniable. By doing so, it can directly affect our senses. What we call to be our senses are actually electrical messages or impulses passed across the nervous system to be interpreted by the brain. A brain structure that plays a vigilant role in this is neuron and alcohol damages the ends of neuron. If either ends of neurons are damaged, it means the electrical messages cannot be passed on. This is exactly why our entire voluntary actions are affected after drinking. You are claiming rewards for temporarily becoming senseless. So, what happened? Every time you drink more alcohol, the higher your tolerance will be towards it. This means you will be more prone to drink more alcohol every single time just to get the expected satisfaction. That aside, not all types of alcohol are safe to pass through your elementary canal. When people buy alcohol, they, they tend to see the price, the percentage of alcohol and even the brand. But there is one more thing that we have to pay attention to. Sometimes the eagerness to save money and to get drunk faster makes drinkers to go for unauthorized alcohol drinks, in which case low cost for high alcohol percentage never rings an alarm. If alcohol is bad for health, cheap alcohol is even more fatal because they may contain alcohol made from poisonous chemicals. Even pain removers like turpentine or rubbing alcohol used in chemical productions are called alcohols. It's indeed a tricky word 
which is less accounted for in a public view, this case still remains to be a very serious issue in a lot of countries. This person I knew had been drinking for so many years and had to buy cheap alcohol drinks most of the time. And he was diagnosed with serious liver failure and health issues related to alcoholism. Unfortunately, the doctors could not advise him to stop alcohol strictly because his body was too used to it and the level of addiction was actually way beyond saving. Still, that doesn't explain what was the immediate cause of death as he showed no signs in his last hours. The toxicity will have directly damaged every organ vital for health cell by cell until the very life functions like breathing cannot be performed by the person's body. Thus, when the doctors did the postmortem, it is highly likely that they confirmed the cause of his death as one look at the liver, small intestine or stomach would have been more than enough to draw a conclusion. Mystery solved. Coming straight to it, if you are yet to develop a habit of alcohol, just keep out of it. It does no good at all. No one in their right mind would tell you alcohol is good for health. Or if you just claim to be a social drinker, all I can tell you is just one thing. Keep the frequency and type of alcohol you take in check. Signing off, Quantum Vimana.